Alright, in this video we're going to cover how you can set up and manage your category tree on your website. So for example, I'm showing our demo site here. Um, we have this category tree all set up. And for example, if you click in the shop by category, you can see we have our first level categories like ceiling, cooling, corner bead, and trim. And then if you click into those, um, you'll get the next level of categories, all the categories underneath ceilings and so forth. If I were, if there were more categories under acoustical tile, um, if I click the acoustical tile link, it would show the subcategories underneath that one. Um, if there's no more categories underneath acoustical tile and we click it, it'll be taken directly to the acoustical tile category. If you want to go directly to one of the uh, top level categories, you can just go ahead and click the top level category and then choose all ceilings for example and that will take you to all the the category of ceilings with all the products within ceilings so let's see how we can set that up on a brand new Coderis commerce system um, for demo pur purposes today I'm going to be using um, this website here it's uh, just been set up and as you can see we don't have any category tree set up um, so we're going to set one up that's very similar to our demo site over here. So the first thing that you need to do um, is sign into the operations portal um, of the site that you're working on. I have already done so. And then you'll want to go down to PIM and then choose categories. So as you can see, we have no category set up yet. Let's choose the data tab. And this is going to provide a embedded spreadsheet where we can easily add our categories. The very first category we need to add to the system will be our top level category that is not actually visible on the website. For example, if I choose shop by category, um, there's a hidden um, top level category that contains all of the next top level categories that are shown here, ceilings, cooling, etc. Uh, the name of that top level category needs to be product-catalog. And then, or sorry, this will be the code, and then you can name it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to call mine catalog. And then you can go ahead and hit enter. And as you can see, a new category has been added to the system and the code is product-catalog. This, this is very important to name the code exactly like so, and then the system will pick that up and um, use that to generate the shop by category drop down here. Uh, all right, let's add our next uh, set of categories underneath the shop by category drop down. So let's do ceilings and cooling next. I'm going to set my code. This is the part that will appear uh, in the browser URL. I'll show you in a second. But I'm going to set the code to be ceilings. And then I'm going to name it how I'd like it to appear on the website. So ceilings with an uppercase C. And then if you'd like to, it to appear in your category tree on the website, um, you need to set the parent. So the parent in this case would be product catalog. Um, because this is a top level category that I'm adding, it should um, appear directly underneath the shop by category drop down. So I'm selecting product dash catalog here, and then I can hit enter and it'll add it to the system. If we hop back over to the front end of the site um, and refresh, you can see we now have ceilings displaying here. If we click shop by category drop down, you can see we have our category in the drop down as well, and it's the very first uh, category in, in the very first level. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick what I mean by the URL. So if I click ceilings, we are taken to the ceiling category page. Um, as you can see, there's no um, products in this category yet. Um, however, just so I can show you the URL, uh, the URL is going to be whatever your site name is, um, category, and then whatever you provided for the category code. 
in my case, I put ceilings. All right, um, one other thing I would like to show you as well is um, let's just say that I forgot to um, set this parent category code, or maybe I have um, products in the, si I mean, sorry, categories in the system that um, were there before I created this product catalog um, category in the system. I will show you how to assign those categories to the product category catalog code um, in order to get it to show up in the shop by category drop down. So let's add another category just for the sake of example and pretend that it already existed in the system. Um, I'm going to choose cooling. So I'm going to add cooling category. And notice I didn't set the parent category code. Um, we're going to pretend that this category, along with many other categories, already existed in the system before we added this product catalog category to start creating our tree. If we hop back over to the front end of the website and refresh, you can see cooling is not displayed here because it's not underneath um, the root level uh, category that is the product catalog category. So to get it to show up right underneath the shop by category dropdown, all we have to do is come in to the operations portal and select the parent category code column for this record, double click, and you'll get a dropdown of options um, where you can specify which parent this cooling category can go under. You could also search as well if you have a lot of categories in the system. I'm going to select this product catalog because we would like it to show um, directly underneath the shop by category drop down and I'll hit enter to save it. Now if you hop back over to the website and refresh, you can see we now have ceilings and cooling and if we click the shop by category drop down, we can see them here. Now you can continue to add more categories to this level. Um, you can also add subcategories for, for any category in this level. So what if I had um, more uh, categories underneath cooling? Um, let's go ahead and add those. Um, so I'm going to make them similar to uh, the cooling on our demo site here. Um, AC and refrigeration, for example. So let's go ahead and add those to the system. I'm going to go back to the operations portal. I'm going to add AC as my code with no slash since slashes are not URL friendly. Um, and then I'm going to call it A slash C for users viewing my website. That will be the pretty name. And now because I want it to show up under cooling and not product catalog, I'm going to select cooling as the parent. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And if we flip back over to the website and refresh and click shop by category once more, if we click cooling, um, we can see AC is showing up here as well. So now let's add refrigeration. Um, I'm going to go back here and copy the text. All right, let's go back and add it. I'll set my code and my name and then again I'm going to specify cooling as the parent and hit enter to add. If we were to add a category underneath ceilings you would select ceilings as the parent instead. So now if we refresh we should see that category as well. Yep we see AC and refrigeration and add, you can add more and more categories to this level and they would automatically show up here. You can add, also add more categories underneath AC and refrigeration, for example, and so on and so forth. One more thing that I would like to show you is how to set the order in which these categories appear in this uh, flyout. Um, so let's just pretend we didn't like the order um, in which these categories were shown. What if we want cooling to be shown before ceilings? 
what we could do is hop over to the operations portal and as you can see there's this order column here now by default these categories in your category tree are sorted in alphabetical order but you can also specify which order um, you would like them to display in, in via this order field so it goes from lowest to highest um, product catalog to us doesn't really matter because the user doesn't see this category it's just containing all the top level categories in the category tree so let's leave this as zero it can be the very first category and then let's set cooling to the next one which is one um, double click the cell and then we change it to one hit enter to save um, and then we wanted ceilings to be in the second position so we'll set that to two and then hit enter to save you can always also sort by this column um, so I just sorted it in ascending order and that way you can visually see in which order these cate categories will be displayed um, on the website uh, from here as well I have sorted in ascending order and we have cooling in the first position and ceilings in the second position here so let's flip back over to our uh, website here refresh and now if we click on shop by category you can see we have cooling displayed first and ceilings displayed second. Um, the last two things I'll cover really quickly are um, editing and deleting categories. So editing, let's say we wanted to change this cooling uh, name that's displayed here. It's very similar to what we've already done. You just come to the name column, double click in the cell, and then name it whatever you like. So awesome cooling, for example, hit enter and it is updated. And if we flip over to the website, refresh, we see our name updated here. Uh, let's pretend we don't want ceilings category anymore. Um, we could hop back over here. Now there's two ways you can do this. Um, what if you don't want to actually delete this product a category from your site entirely you'd like to keep it around in case you might need to use it um, again or you might want to add it back in at some point who knows um, you could just simply um, remove it from the tree so I think cooling was a no ceilings was a category I wanted to remove um, if I wanted to remove ceilings from the tree all I'd have to do is clear out this parent code field and then click out of it to save it and as we can see if we hop back over to the website it's now gone from the tree um, I can also delete the category entirely from the system and only do this if you don't want to keep this data uh, because it will delete it permanently from your system however in order to do that you can select the ceilings row here um, and then go to edit and then choose delete selected rows and then it will delete that entirely from the system and again as we hop back over here you're not going to see it in your drop down all right that covers how you can manage your category tree in Coderis thanks for watching